contact. Grandpa Newby reporting for duty with an amazing tale of archaeological discovery. And I'm talking about the OG Lockman Shroud. Now, playing 6v6 teamed up with my son and his friends. We all were getting killed by a player carrying a Lockman Shroud. And I thought, well, Lockman Shroud is good. In fact, I'm coming out with a bare bones video on it soon i've got the content completed but i don't remember it as being that good and when i looked at what he was carrying this is what it was now i'm not certain if somebody lied to us but this thing has been buried and not a lot of people are using it just that one person and one other person on his team uh, is all i've seen recently and i play a lot so let's take a look at the configuration and i only had eyes for the recoil take a look at the recoil 109.5 degrees per second on the gun kick and a vertical recoil of 62.12 degrees per second if you look at the increases 30 percent 140 on the horizontal recoil which is a huge 35.42 degrees per second and 140% on the vertical. Now, I thought that I would make a video, it would be a comical video on a weapon whose recoil is not controllable. Keep that in mind as we look at the rest of the statistics though. In terms of mobility, the ADS movement speed, you're bouncing off the walls at light speed, 4.5 meters per second. The accuracy, Pretty decent when it comes to hip fire and tack stance. In fact, hip fire is 1.8 degrees per second. Handling, ADS speed of 162 milliseconds. That's fairly quick, but the sprint to fire is better than pistol in some cases at 88 milliseconds. So now I'm thinking, hmm, maybe this is a hip fire machine. Bullet velocity, not outstanding, but rate of fire, 800 rounds per minute. That's 16% better than the stock factory settings Lockman Shroud. And moving over to the damage, 47 to the head and 38 everywhere else to the upper legs. That is amazing. So let's take a quick look at the rest of the configuration. Now, I went ahead and threw on the 50 round drum and I accepted all the negatives on that. Reason being, I anticipated recoil and I thought the more bullets I can spray, the better off grandpa is gonna be. The XRK Edge BW4 hand stop. And that gives us better mobility. I started zeroing in on the ADS movement speed. That's 10% better. And the ADS speed, it helped out with that 50 round mag to offset that, as well as the sprint to fire speed. The 114 millimeter Dark Star barrel, 34% better ADS speed. So that's what put us at 162 milliseconds. And again, it stacks on the ADS movement speed and the rest of the mobility numbers. And it increases the accuracy of the hip fire and the tack stance. Hurts the gun kick even further. So I thought this was going to be a laugh. Takes the effective damage range down, but I wasn't expecting any long shots with that recoil. And finally, the LM stockless mod. Hey, let's pile on the recoil at 106% worse on the gun kick. 35% worse on the horizontal and vertical recoil. Let's increase the accuracy of the hip fire down to almost nothing and increase mobility and handling to get us those composite numbers that you see there. So grandpa was planning on a laugh. I was gonna go in and shoot at the sky. And in fact, take a look at this range recoil test and you'll see why I was expecting to shoot at the sky. So let's take this recoil monster onto the field of honor and see how it did for Grandpa and what it did for Grandpa's enemies. All right, let's get into this. Das House. That's the first time I've been on it in this situation. This map is disturbing. Delightfully disturbing. 
All right, so maybe this is a good map for a high recoil gun because it's going to be all close in engagements. I'm going to have to switch to the Renetti there. Somebody always camps in the back. Let's see if I can reload. Oh, not yet. Purple head. Hey, there's a chipmunk. Hey, buddy. Did I just throw that off the map? I think I'm pretty much trapped back here. Alright, we're out of there. I just don't see the recoil. What about you? I mean, does anybody see the recoil on this gun? Somebody fib to us? Are the stats wrong? That person looks like a resident of this house in this situation. Trapped in a corner again. The weapon is shooting straight. This is my first time out with it. I have not done any practice. I have, uh, oh, it is a hip shot machine. There we go. Maybe we can get some longer engagements. Well, that's not a long engagement. You know, the recoil actually helps with the increased damage. Yeah, you get in a corner in Das House, you're going to... I'm going to be dust tot, which is German for dead. Yeah, anything close, this, the Lockman seems to win. Uh, this guy didn't even turn around. What did he think he was playing 6v6 or something? Well, drop shot action. <laughs> Grandpa buys the farm laying down. How embarrassing. There's the resident of this particular DOS house. Looks like some alien is taking over a blood plant of some sort with snake scales. This is pretty awesome. Awesome and awful at the same time. I think I'm going to dream about this map. Yeah, anybody head on is going to be gacked. I haven't seen the recoil yet. Yeah, thankfully somebody gacked me while I was getting executed. There goes the resident. Resident had a little buzz. Care package. What do we got Hostile going here? Online. Oh, some <laughs> obligatory knife for against grandpa. And there's obligatory knife for he's gone, as was the guy who was trying to gack him. Yeah, I'd say close in. This gun is overpowered, and Grandpa doesn't say that a lot. I'd rather have this than a shoddy. You get the first, there's obligatory knife or slices Grandpa in half and then steps on the proximity mine. They are made for knifers. And there's the resident, final kill. Man, this gun was thumbs up. Put them away. Let's have a, another look at the Gacon, the resident. Head on, oh, unfortunately, she, I think, is trying to toss a grenade. So I don't know if that was a good test of the recoil. We need a map with a little longer range on it. Grandpa's laughing at the snake around the building. This one should be better. Grandpa will be able to have fun with the recoil. We'll be able to laugh at it. Obligatory knife is gone. No recoil there. And this is a 50-round magazine, so... I mean, you think the ADS would be bad, but it's not. It's less than 200 milliseconds, and the sprint to fire is 88 milliseconds. 88. I don't know how this gun has flown under my radar for so long. I'm thankful for the guy that was gacking me with it. Yeah, you're not going to win. Worked its way up to the head. You got that 47 damage to the head. If somebody's damaged at all, you're going to gack them with a headshot. Oh, uh, not that time. Somebody sniffing their feet got me. I hope they pass out from the stench of their toes. There's distance. Ah, if anything, I started in the head and ended in the torso. Two shots in the head, two in the torso, it looked like. There's distance. 
Oh, we're gonna have to close that distance. <laughs> yeah. And somebody gets me at distance. Enemy UAV active. All right, there's a distance shot. No recoil. I didn't see it. Either that or it's just so easy to control. I know a lot of us, and comment if you're the same, we don't consciously try to, re try to control recoil. Somehow our right thumb or whatever we use for toe does it for us. All right, Grandpa's tight. There's a shot at just no recoil. The thing went straight. That went straight. Maybe the recoil is just so vertical, although it's got over 32 degrees per second in the horizontal. This thing should be bouncing everywhere. I didn't even see the gun kick. Ooh, I'm getting shot. That's dangerous. People shouldn't be playing with weapons. Oh, there's some paint. Yeah, you're not going to survive that. 88 millisecond sprint to fire, 800 round per minute rate of fire. I thought I saw somebody. I guess not. Oh, there he is. Oh, I got morsed. Can you believe that? I just went to see how fast he was running to see if he had steroids in use, but I don't think so. That was just a great shot. Look at there. Started in his behind because I thought it would work its way up in there. You're not going to stay with a 4.5 strafe speed meters per second. There's some more paint. Where'd he go? There he is. No recoil. I know I sound like a broken record, but I'm just amazed. I thought this was going to be a comedy, a laugh. Oh, there we go. That'll be some recoil. I didn't see it over the head glitch. I did get Gak. Yeah, straight on this gun is a sure kill. You need to turn around. There we go. Distance? No. And see, I was hesitant to engage at distance. <laughs> that guy certainly engaged me. Oh, he's, he's the next one. There's distance. It's more than nine meters. See, the rate of fire makes up for low range. Whoa, jump. He probably jumped over his head. He probably thinks I got steroids. Ooh, turnabout is fair play there. Grandpa misses every shot. Is there a corner camper? Yes. How did he know I was there? Well, he stepped in paint. Purple paint, no less. Pick a better color, like clear. Clear coat. There, overhead glitch, no recoil. Now this guy's gone. Comment if you're as amazed as I am. Don't use this gun against me in this configuration because I don't think we'll be able to handle it. No wonder the guy was killing us all. Permanent class. Permanent class. There's some paint. There he goes. A little hip fire action. I only need two more. I mean, Grandpa, two lobbies in a row we have run over, and this guy is touring. Snapping photos. Hoo yeah, it thumbs up for this weapon. Like I said, permanent class. Let me know if you try it, if you find any recoil, because I just couldn't find Look at there, as straight as an arrow. I couldn't find it. So if you liked it, please like and subscribe. Helps me, helps the family. Peace to you and cheers.